How are you doing everyone? Welcome back to Satisfactory. In today's episode, I want to start coal power. Any shape or form, even if I don't finish it, I need to get it started because I'm at the point where I'm getting really bored of chopping down trees with my chainsaw. As fun as it is, it's it's a little bit tedious whenever the power goes out and yeah, I gotta kind of wait to either refill it. Like at the moment, I'm kind of battling uh, everything at the moment. Um, I've got a lot hooked up. I'm, it, I did have nine of these uh, biomass burner things. I've now gone to 12. 12 stacks uh, is, is a little bit much. As you can see, I've got eight, nine, nearly 10 stacks already. So I've been waiting forever to get, get more. And e I think each one of these lasts about an hour. I think I I think I timed it once uh, or, at least, or estimated that one stack can last an hour. So 12 stacks an hour of biofuel to run what we've got going on here is way too much. So yeah, I have been doing a few bits off camera. I haven't done a, gr a great deal, probably a little bit of research. Um, let me have a, have a quick look, see if I've done any research off camera. I don't think I have, in all fairness. I, I, I'm, not, I'm not sure. Um, I've got a decent amount of food though, just saying. In fact, yeah, I just keep stashing the food in there and then I don't really use it all that much. Uh, I've, I've been out and about and I've got a little bit more quartz. I'm actually too shy. I think I'm too shy away from doing something. Found some bauxite as well. I don't think that's... Oh, bauxite is turned into aluminium ingots. But, okay, so that's that's later on then. Uh, let's have a look at quartz a second. Yeah, we, we're pretty much good to go with that. Uh, power slugs. In fact, I might actually do that on camera right now. Yeah, why not? Let's go and grab some cable put that away so yeah what I want to do today is I kind of want to focus on uh, coal power at least get it going we want to start something so this might be one maybe two episodes worth I'm not sure uh, the trick is is getting the uh, water to behave now whatever I do today it may not be the final final layout it may not be the final deal do you know what I mean I, I tend to um, improve on things if I can off camera and uh, you'll see that in a minute because I've been actually, uh, you know, I designed this this building. Well, I've kind of done a similar trick with um, something simple like um, making concrete, right? And you'll see that in a short while. Um, but yeah, for the best part, I've I've not really been doing a lot. I've been chopping down trees, working on uh, just aesthetic stuff, really, to be honest. And what do we need again? I forget, where is the man? Uh, what, was, what was I looking at? Oh, power slugs. So yeah, we need a yellow power slug and 25 plates. Let's check we got the power slug first. We have, we've got a yellow one. I actually know where a purple one is, one of the, the rarest ones. There's a cliff somewhere and it's on the edge of a cliff. It's like really weirdly placed. It's like over there somewhere. But we'll get, we'll get to that at some other point. I'll probably do that on camera, maybe. But I spotted it while I was chopping down trees. I was like, oh, I remember that. Uh, we need 25 of these guys. So, yeah, my power's been down for quite some time, and it it's getting a little bit expensive. We need to kind of move forward on the power front uh, because biofuel burns out really quick. One stack, yeah, it's about 50, 50 to 60 minutes worth of power. Uh, I'm not ready. I'm not ready to keep keep that up. It's, it's a little bit much. We need we we need more juice basically. So we've got the power slugs. We're gonna literally. Can we unlock that now? Oh, three seconds. That's not bad. Here we go. I don't know what that gave us. Oh, it gave us the power shard for it. Okay, this is the one that we want, we haven't found yet, but I I think I know where one is. But we're not going to get that today. I really need to get power started. So, I, like, like I said, I don't even know if I'm going to finish it at this stage. I, I really don't think I will. Um, what else was I going to do? Oh, yeah, I'm going to show you what I've been doing off camera. And I'm actually impressed by it. And, um, I, like I said, I've kind of gone down the same road as the um, design for the copper factory. And as you can see, here's my limestone. Little... These are basic, by the way. There's nothing crazy about them. There's two constructors hooked up to one miner, and they're just fed around the base. But I tried to do it in a, a really small footprint. That was the 
the challenge I set myself and I managed to get it into a 3 by 2 footprint so yeah using lifts and stuff like that I did have to kind of come outside of the the building a little bit with some lifts as well but nothing crazy it's actually quite a compact little factory and I'm actually quite proud of it and as you can see I've got like a creamy yellow color to kind of represent the uh, the limestone and it looks really cool it looks it looks nice so I've kind of done it on a couple of the nodes around here I'm, I'm gonna be doing it over there let me go in photo mode so I can show you guys so I'm gonna zoom in so as you can see I haven't finished that one yet but that as and where I can be bothered, I will probably make these little uh, limestone, lim miniature limestone factories. I think I think they're pretty cool. Um, not bad for a boxy build. I mean, factories are kind of boxy, but uh, for the best part, I'm quite I'm quite happy about that. And then when I don't want any of the concrete, there's a shop at the top as well. So all I do is just feed it around the back, which is a little bit awkward because it's right on the edge of the cliff so all I do is hook it up to that hook it round and then that's that's that I can literally output and make make more tokens I think that's gonna be kind of like a thing I'm gonna be doing most of the time um, as long as they're not as long as they're not in use they don't use power but whether or not it counts I think the power yeah the power only goes up if they're in use I think if they're plugged into the network, the power network, I don't think it matters too much. But yeah, that's that's pretty much it. It's just a couple of floors, um, loads of staircases going up. That's not bad. I'm, I'm actually quite proud of that. And um, that's kind of a similar deal. The only difference is, is the outside's a little bit different because of uh, um, where the miners are. I've, I've made it quite close to the miners. I could probably have hugged it a little bit better or brought it forward or something like that but for me I, I'm happy with that that's that's pretty nifty so yeah so today we are literally gonna make a start I always get like a frame rate a frame rate thing whenever I come towards this hill I think it's the background being loaded um, but for the best part I've kind of come to a happy medium with performance like recently uh, bef like in recent episodes I was recording at 1080p oh by the way I've moved the uh, space elevator a little bit that's why it's flashing that exclamation mark. Um, yeah, I was doing uh, 720p for a while, and then I think touch wood. I am actually touching wood. Um, I've got the performance okay at, at 1080p. So for the last three episodes, I think, I've been recording 1080p. I've managed to kind of get it to that happy medium where I've got... It looks still looks good, apart from the grass... I think the gra my grass settings are like the highest they can get. Um, view distance, foliage quality. I, th I don't think that is. Yeah, I I, I don't think the f the quality is basically um, the distance of it. So I got my view distance on high. I just think it's the game. The game kind of tries to optimize where it can and I think because no grass renders renders in um, that's that's the game trying to save um, save you uh, performance issues so let me explain what I've done here okay so in this box is a bunch of items that we we're gonna need to create um, some extractors and some um, some coal generators, some coal power generators. Coal, the coal power generators need water. Water is a funny beast to tame, so we may not get round to that, but I might just connect the pipes off camera and come back to it and say, look what I've done. Um, but for the best part, I want to show you at least what the build, the buildings look like and roughly teach you how they kind of function. So without further ado, we're going to get on with it. So I haven't done this side yet over there. But, um, yeah, I haven't quite worked this out. But um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to have probably a couple, at least a couple of these uh, extractors in the middle feeding the, uh, whatchamacallits over there, the, the power stations. So we're only going to focus on one side. I'll probably do the rest off camera because I'm just kind of mimicking. Whatever I do on this side is going to be done on that side. But, um, yeah, let's, let's get going. Actually, I need the I need the ingredients out of the box. I'm a derp. 
But I really don't think we're going to get done in this episode. I'll be very surprised. I'll be proud of myself if we do. So, yeah. So I'm planning to have 10 power stations, right? Each one of them provides me with 75 megawatts, right? Now that is twice as powerful as one of them. Those uh, biofuel things. So that's good to have. So what we're going to do is we're going to grab ourselves... Uh, in fact, we're going to have it this way. Oh, that no, the 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 inputs are going to be facing the water. And can I snap this to that? Let me just place that down a minute. But the best part that that's going to do for now, right? Yeah, that's going to do. So we're going to put another one down. And we are literally going to mimic. I'm going to try and get a better view. Sometimes it's a little bit hard. The bigger structures are quite hard to to see. And I don't think I've got enough foundations. That's three. They're a little bit wider than I thought. I thought they actually fit into... Can I... It's a little bit tricky. I'm not going to lie. Actually, shall I get up? I'll get up here. Get you out of the way. Ain't you dead yet? Right. And then... I'm going to get you right up and in line with this guy. Is that the wrong way around? No. We're good. Okay. So that's four. In fact, I should have done this differently. I'm going to do this differently. Just because my OCD. Are you serious? Right, and then we are going to plonk this guy dead in the middle and work out from the middle. There we go. In fact, is that... Can we come closer? Yeah, we can come closer. Let's come closer a minute. So, let's get... So if you get your bulldozer tool and hold control, you can literally hover over whatever you want to delete. And then let go of control, then hold left mouse button, and you can delete like that. So what we're going to do instead is we're going to bring this a little bit closer. Like that. Because the closer we are to the water, the better. Because... Uh, the the water extractors are a tricky one to master. Uh, maybe I'm just a noob, but they are a little bit tricky. I'm not going to lie. I think for the best part, that is bang on. Can I get that? Can I get that lined up? I know it will. There we go. And again. Let's. Are you lined up? It's kind of hard to judge sometimes. I think that's lined up. Okay, we need some more foundations. 100%. So you can kind of see how big these guys are when I put them on foundations. They are one wide, roughly. Right, and they are... Let me just put this one here so I can just jump up on there. Or try to jump up on there and then place one. I'll get rid of this in a minute. Did I actually oh, accidentally click the plus sign? Right, and then... I just got to get it lined up. There we go. I think that's it. So that, for the best part, is what we're going for. We're going for five on each side, if I can. But obviously, I'm not going to do it all on camera. I'm going to be checking the time. I'm not going to leave this. If we don't finish it, we don't finish it. But if, if it starts getting time starts getting on, then what we'll do is... I'll just quickly explain what I'm going to be doing while you guys are away. And then when you guys come back, I'll show you what exactly I've done. So I can try and keep you in the loop, okay? So sometimes it takes a lot longer than 30 minutes to do something on any game, 
like I, I've had it many a times on things like Minecraft, um, where our projects take a lot of time to to get done, and this game's no different. There we go. So let me explain. So each of these coal generators has two inputs. Okay, you got your normal conveyor belt on the right, and you got a fluid pipe on the left. This thing needs water. Let's have a look at the interface here. As you can see, it's got no no power whatsoever, and it's got no water. Okay, it tells you how much. It's got all the details here. It consumes 45. What was that meters cubed or whatever? I don't know. What's M3 mean? Meters cubed? I think. I could be wrong. Whatever. M3. Whatever. It's like a motorway in the UK. Um, and then we got um, we got to put. Uh, coal into it. Coal is miles away from here. So hopefully we should be able to search coal. Can we search coal? We should be able to because we unlocked it, right? So let's just have an idea of where our nearest coal node is. Ooh. 670. That's a thousand. 687, sorry. 957. So we're going to go for that one over there. And I, I I, think we've already been over there on an episode. That's the node I was I was thinking of anyway. So what we could do is... Um, yeah, we need to hook this guy up. So let me just uh, sort this side out first. And then... We, we, we look at the extractors. I'm probably going to make a cut very soon and have a little bit of a play around and then see see what happens. That is, for the best part, about the... S is that the same distance? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. I mean, I guess it doesn't matter because that's going to go there roughly, right? So we're going to have have them back to back. So one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Yeah, it's about it's about the same. Okay, it doesn't have to be exact, but I'm using foundations as as a guide. Trust me, guys. Use foundations in this game where possible because they will help you out so much. And you don't have to use them. You can. Oh wow, this is going to be tricky. Right. So I'm going to put one there. there and we're going to go on this side so basically just mimicking and then I can get rid of the middle one there, another one there I don't even know if I've got enough we just quickly build this up in fact we need a ramp just because I wish I could jump that high so again, we've got about the same. It's going to take a little bit more. I'm going to need a couple more platforms. But let's grab our other generators here. Oh, no, I don't need to do that. I click the plus. I'm an idiot. And that is roughly in the middle. So yeah, each one of these can generate 75... Um, megawatts over, and, and uh, the biomass burner is only 30 you can see the stats in the bottom bottom right there it says stats oh no I couldn't, I couldn't show you so the, where the little lightning lightning icon is that's how much power it takes and yeah we're producing double every go which is pretty neat so can I snap you there we go can I parkour Oh, we can. He can. So we're going to need to do both sides. I don't think I'm going to park all this. Oh, I might. Oh, we did. Um. And where there's a gap, I'm just going to bring it down a little bit. Just so it looks a little bit more less floaty. In fact, there's a little gap there. There we go. 
I'll fine tune that. If there's any other gaps, I'll fine tune yeah. it later. But for the best part, I'm happy with that. There is a little bit of an overhang, but I'm okay with that. That's fine. The main thing is it's flush to this guy. So we're going to need to place another one. Let me just get some temporary foundations here. And then we're going to grab another power. So this would be the final one on this side. Beautiful. I need to I need to sort my hotkeys out. Been meaning to do it for a while. So that I don't have to keep going into the menus. Just to make it a little bit more easier on myself. Eventually. Right. So this just makes life easier for when you're placing stuff. And then we can just plonk the last one there. Cool. Okay. And again, when you get your delete tool, hold control. And you can delete up to 50 uh, different ones in one hit. Beautiful. So that, for the best part, is our our stuffs. Right. So now we want to get rid of this. So we're going to hold control again. I'm going to get closer to the other side because I don't want to make a mistake. So one, two, three, four, five. That's ten. We could always expand this, I guess, providing we can get the extractors in. And I'm kind of just going to guesstimate it here. I'm just going to kind of go in the middle and then plonk one dead in the middle here. So we're going to go to production, water extractor. And we're going to face him towards us. This is basically by eye. Can I put these on foundations. Let's try again. Because foundations down. Probably not, right? I'm just literally trying something out here. can't even place from here. Can I place? This is going to be a little bit awkward, right? Can I place one, like, on one of these? So, no, you can with miners. I'm just curious. It's probably not going to work. I'm almost certain it's not going to work. No. Because you need to place this on deep water. This isn't exactly deep water, let's be honest. So, I tell you what, we're going to make it, like, just in front here. And find, roughly find the middle. About there. Let's check this out. Right, I'm going to make it closer. I wish there was a way to line these guys up. I mean, there is a the kind of... This is going to be tricky, right? I'm not going to put any pipes down. It'd be too fiddly, but... That's the general gist. Let's try and put another one down, like, on the other side of it, and see how we get on. So, let's grab foundations here. Put it there. Can I jump and build? That'd be neat to know. No. Right, I need to go round. This is building can be a little bit finicky, but uh, it's pretty simplistic to be honest, to a certain degree. 
Oh, am I going to be able to park all this? Can I not? No. Okay. Whatever's. Let's make a ramp then. Just for now. I'm going to make a ramp just for now. And then we're going to put another one in, in here. Kind of. This is the center one. Yep. So we want to go in the center of this guy. Roughly there. They don't have to be exact, but they're, they're pretty much there, right? That's not bad going. Pretty happy with how that's, that's turned out. So basically, these guys will, once they get power, they will pump water. And they will fill up here. This circle will fill up with water. I will show you in another episode once I've got all this set up. But, for the best part, this is the bare bones. We can expand upon it as long as it allows us to. I'll probably have to rearrange these guys, but for the best part, that should work, right? Yeah, that's that's going to work. So, have I got enough of the pipes? I might have enough of pipes. So let me just show you the pipes, right? So, pipes are pretty, pretty cool. So logistics, pipelines. They basically act like conveyor belts, right? This is what they look like. I'm not obviously not going to put it there. But yeah. So what will happen is is each pipe has an interface and you can determine how much each pipe has um, by however high it is in this circle thing here. And if it's not high enough, you can give it a little bit of a nudge with a pump. Pumps are pretty cool because what pumps will do is push push it further upfield. So yeah, that's that's what pumps do. But yeah. So yeah, let me just check the, the time here. 27 minutes. Yeah, perfect. Okay. So what I'm going to do, guys, is I'm going to literally play around with this area here and make it nice. I might make some minor adjustments, but I, what I will do is next episode, I will come back to you guys, hopefully with this all up and running, and show you show you this power system and how coal power works. Um, in the next episode because ideally you need to get these these guys close to each other the closer these are the easier it should be um, but that's just theory at the moment but um, if it's too far away I might actually make this guy a little bit further away because he's a little bit too close but I'll have a play with it and see what I can come up with but yeah the water is a, a funny beast especially if you're trying to t take the water upwards the further you go, the harder it is to, to manage as well. So always keep these guys safe. Uh, safe. Keep them safe. But also keep them close. But yeah. Anyways, guys, thanks for watching. Hopefully you've enjoyed this episode. Don't forget to show it some love. And I shall see you in the next episode of Satisfactory. Take it easy. Dibs out.